Okay, so the cranberry cruncher. Uh, the hook I've got in is an FM50 75 size 10, black nickel. And I'm just going to start by taking my black thread, which is 80 uni, down the hook. And then you're going to go in and with the tinsel. So this is the cranberry flybox tinsel. And then the same with the black pseudo hackle. So what I've done with this black pseudo hackle, I've actually cut off a small piece at where I'm going to tie in so that there's no extra fibers pointing out as we tie this in. It should help with the taper for the body. But to be honest, with this fly, you don't really need to ta worry about taper because the pseudo hackle does such a good job anyway that any sort of faults with your tapering will be hidden slightly. So there we go. My right, next step is just to take the tinsel and wrap it up the body. And so I'm going to tie it off a bit earlier before the eye because we've got to tie off this the pseudo hackle, put a wing in and put two jungle cock cheeks in so you're going to need a bit of space up here so the next step is to take the pseudo hackle and do the same wrap it around the body now with this you only really need about three or four turns of it that will be enough from this body to get the colors to still punch through even with the pseudo hackle so that's turn four and we'll just tie it off here now. Okay, and then the wing. So you could use marabou, you could use rabbit. Most of the time when I'm fishing cormorants, I tend to find that I'm just fishing them really slowly. So for me, that means fishing them almost like nymphs, basically. So a rabbit is the preferred choice for me in that instance. And I prefer to take out the finer, sharper points of the rabbit. So that I'm left with the softer, more subtle part of the wing. Measure it up, make sure you're happy with where the, the wing sits in terms of length. My personal preference, I don't need to go beyond the bend of the hook. And as long as I'm happy with that there then, I'll just streamline it a bit more to make it easier, tie in. I'll we'll give it two or three turns. At this point, you can wet up both sides. And then just come in. Cut off the wing. And if you're happy, just start to build the head up. Okay, and the next job is the jungle cow cheeks. So you can either use red jungle cock or a good alternative, to be honest, is goose bites. Okay, so comes in. I'm happy with the size, yeah, that's fine. And cut off the other side. And put everything back and build up that head. And that's it. So, a bit of wax. One double. Double. And that's your fly, the cranberry cormorant.
Thanks so much for watching. Now hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.